Uh, we, we're talking about mission this time around, and mission is supported by Star Ghana, with thanks to Danida, UK Aid, and the European Union. This time around, we're speaking to women who are aspiring to um, for, for certain positions in district assemblies, and they are being pushed to uh, take up these roles simply because women, again, make up over one over 50 percent of uh, ghana's population and so why not push them to also take up these uh, positions speaking to some of them in the past we've realized the various barriers that they've had that, that have been societal or structural and today i'll be speaking to leticia lamte who is running for assembly woman in the Ano Anohuma electoral area. Now, Anohuma uh, electoral area is from the areas behind, uh, you know, around La Paz uh, through to um, Niboy Town, uh, down to some Prince Primary School and all of that. Yes. Behind Namche, Tabora, number one, number the, two, there. Yeah. Right, right, right. And so, Leticia Lamte, you are welcome to TV3 New Day. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? Very well. Wonderful. I like that. Let's talk a bit about uh, your plans for uh, this role. Let's talk about your motivation first and foremost. Um, you know, women have faced some uh, issues structurally, you know, societally. People say that women are not strong and all of that. What motivated you to actually come out and ask that you be elected to be uh, Assemblywoman? I am not sure I have actually faced these barriers mm. because growing up, I have grown up as a strong woman. Mm. I came through um, University of Science and Technology. I read mechanical nice. engineering. And so I have come up competing with men yeah. equally um, on square shoulders. Mm. And so, so would you say it was a family thing? Uh, you got support from your family? Mm. Or what was it that affected you, that made you even stronger? Well, maybe secondary school. I went to Wesley Girls High School, mm. and so they teach you that what the men can do, um, <laughs> given the uh, appropriate platform, you can do the same. Okay, all right. So it's, it's from, from from that point. Mm. What what did you realize in your area uh, that you could change, and uh, that that pushed you to, uh, you know, run for the elections? What what is it in the area that's really bothered you? Well, it's not necessarily limited to the area. Okay. Um, I found out that people are getting a wrong conception about the district assembly, about the assembly member position. Mm. And I thought that um, people who are actually knowledgeable, have skill and competency should come into that area because um, we have left it for the people who are always walking around the area, not necessarily people who are learned or people who have any knowledge in what they are going to do but mm. people who are actually seeking recognition. And so I thought that there's actually um, an act which speculates what people sh in that position should do. And mm. I think that um, people who are learned should actually start going into that position. And that was my motivation. Your motivation. But don't you think that um, these people you say who are not learned, if they have a team of people with learned people in there, they can actually do the work? Well, yes, for some people who actually have focus and direction, yes. But I have realized that a lot of them have become puppets because when they get in there, the people who are learned, who feel stronger than them, mm. um, actually squeeze them and make them to run their errands and not what their ambitions or purposes are. Oh, I see. Very, very interesting. Let's go back. Uh, let's go uh, a bit into your personal life. What exactly do you do? Uh, I'm a for public a servant. Public servants. Oh, okay. All right. And so how do you plan to combine that with your um, local assembly uh, duties? Well, I, I have observed that the local assembly duties is not a day-by-day -day activity. It is once in a while when the assembly holds meeting, then mm. you can seek permission because it is a communal assignment. Mm. And so everybody in the community is supposed to contribute to that, even the public um, service and mm -hmm. so um with appropriate permissions i believe i'll be able to get that support to get there. there. Yes. and then how how has the reception been like uh, with regards to the assemblies and your campaigns how, how how has it been like are people very receptive to you and your messages um I got to a place and I told my friend that ah, I'm facing all these challenges mm. and if you want to go into politics, go full face or else go and sell ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> um, really? In some places you're accepted, in some places mm. you, because it's not a women thing or people also think that I'm too young to mm. stand for the position, but then 
generally, I think it has been receptive. So wait, your challenge is, you're saying age? Yes. And, and what else have you that faced? That you are a woman. Yeah, mm -hmm. And also, <laughs> I say this all the time. Yeah. People think that you're supposed to come from some political backing. Back, yes. Yeah, and so before. if you do not have it, they think that you are not serious. Mm. Okay. So, so let's explain a bit. I, I'm looking at your flyer and you're talking about voting for a competent woman. Let's explain a bit about who a competent woman is and then uh, we'll, we'll go on to the next. Okay. Um, in my view yes. of who a competent woman is, people, is somebody, one, who has learned, mm. not necessarily academically, okay. but somebody who has actually interacted with people and has taken up their views and has taken the time to assess mm. how to evaluate, um, come to the people and with um, with solutions. Right. Yes. Right. So that person would have taken information yeah. from the community, from the learned, yes. and put them all together, and then come out and say, "This is the way to go." Okay. Okay. That's that's a, that's a good one. Now, I'd like for you to speak to um, all who are watching you right now. Mission Ghana believes in giving women a voice. And so uh, the, uh, the elections are coming in December. What do you want your, uh, the Ghanaians out there to know? Yes, I want all Ghanaians to know that this is the era where women are being given the voice and they are given the opportunity um, to lead in the groups. A lot of women um, have have taken a back role because they think that they are supposed to be in the kitchen or they are supposed to be taking care of their families or mm. minding their own businesses because it is a man's world. But I believe that women have such ability to be able to take the world forward um, if we give ourselves the opportunity to learn and if we give ourselves the opportunity to exhibit our skills and our competencies. And so there is no hiding place for any woman. Every woman should come out and all the... You see, there are things that men forget mm. when, when they come out with their macho and with their strength. <laughs> yes, but the women will take care of the details, that minute details, and we need to give the men the push and the support that they need. If we re um, recline to the back seats when we are unable to give them the needed support, and so all women should come out with all their strength, with all their competencies, and to support the men who are in the lead. Okay, and, and everyone should come out and vote for you as well, since you are running for, for uh, assembly, assembly woman yes. for the Anohuma electoral area. area. Well, it was good having you, and I like your final words, actually. Women are capable, and so, uh, you know, what a man can do, a woman can do, and they say even better. And so you've heard it from Leticia Lamte. Thank you so much for joining us here on TV3 New Day. Mission is supported by Star Ghana, with thanks to Danida, um, UK Aid, and the European Union. GH